Hello everyone, this is Dr. Andrew Chrysler teaching EE4418 at Idaho State University. In this section, we'll be covering chapter 4.42 on quadrature amplitude modulation in the Modern Digital and Analog Communication Systems textbook by Lathy. Uh, you can follow along in page 211 to 213 of the fifth edition. So previously, we talked about two other types of bandwidth efficient amplitude modulations. And these are amplitude modulation schemes that are meant to uh, be more efficient than double sideband amplitude modulation. The first one we discussed was single sideband suppressed carrier, which was a way of transmitting just a single sideband instead of a double sideband, which would effectively be half of the bandwidth. The single sideband suppressed carrier modulation had the serious downside of having uh, very troublesome filters that were required. So then we discussed the vestigial sideband amplitude modulation, which was a bit of a compromise between a single sideband and double sideband suppressed carrier amplitude modulation. And now we will discuss quadrature amplitude modulation which is a way of transmitting two messages at the same time using the same amount of bandwidth as the double sideband suppressed carrier amplitude modulation. Now, uh, this type of modulation, quadrature amplitude modulation, or QAM, will be modulated into the signal that we will call phi QAM of T the, in the time domain signal and this signal is going to contain two messages message one and message two both messages are modulated with the same carrier frequency fc and this is going to generate two double sideband signals and the, this time domain representation of the qam signal is going to include a message one that has been modulated with a cosine wave and a message two that was modulated with a sine wave. The quadrature amplitude modulation, the modulation scheme might look something like this, where message one is being modulated by a cosine wave. That cosine wave has been shifted by pi halves to create a sine wave, which modulates message two. The modulated message one and modulated message two are combined to form the quadrature amplitude modulated signal, which is then transmitted across the channel. Upon demodulation, we will attempt to demodulate both message one and message two. Message one will be demodulated uh, with a two cosine omega C T signal into a X1 signal that passes through a low pass filter and the uh, message two is demodulated in a similar way, but it is demodulated with a sine wave into a signal X2, and the X2 is filtered and turned into message two.